Okay. For people that are new, um, that don't really know the backstory or haven't been following us, following us long enough to know, can you go into um, a little bit about the health situation that you had at the end of, was it 2021? December? Yes, December 2021. Yeah, so in December 2021, I'll go through it and tell the story. We'll make an episode out of this, if y'all don't mind. We're going to go and do uh, tell Reggie's uh, contracting uh, COVID. Uh, 19, and so what I did, and I felt like I had a cold. That was the day before, a day or two before I did that interview with Phil Carson, the one y'all called. I said, Phil Carson kicked your butt in that interview. I don't know what he said other than try to say that he knew me, and I said, okay, well, if you knew this person, then I knew him, but I never met you. But... I know how you conspirators are. Uh, but we we did an interview, and, and during that whole interview, I was saying, man, I don't feel good. <laughs> man, I feel, man, I feel like I got pneumonia or a bad cold. So the next day, I go and get tested for COVID. This is like December the 5th, the 6th of December of, of, 29th, of 2020 or 2021. Shit. 2021, 2020, <laughs> okay, 2020. And so I go and find out on December the 9th, I was feeling awful, terrible. And um, I told my wife to take me to the doctor. So at four or five in the morning, we went to the doctor and uh, went there. Because back then, you gotta remember the COVID test was taken they didn't have the vaccines yet, and they were taking three days to get your results. And so they would just give you the test and tell you to quarantine yourself until you get the results back. So I hadn't gotten the results back from the date I took it, but it should have been back. And so on 2000, on the 9th of 2020, I go to the Corona Regional Hospital. And they tell me, hey, bro, your uh, chest is full of pneumonia and COVID, and you are positive for COVID. So I'm there, and my levels is going down, my breathing levels and all of that is going down. And during that time, I'm like, I'm okay, I'll be okay. But the doctors keep coming in the room and saying, Mr. Wright, give us a chance to save your life. You need to uh, get on the ventilator. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm okay. I didn't realize it. I fought this with them for seven to eight days before I finally allowed them to put me on the ventilator. And so the, I, they then finally call my wife and con my, my parents and convince them to convince me to get on the ventilator. Got on the ventilator and December the 19th was the day. Went out. Had a tray put in my throat, a tube in my, my stomach and a capillary on. Yeah, I never had a capillary on. That's when you jump, when they're going to tell you they're going to put a, a little thing in between your little your pee pee and put it in there so you won't be pissing all over the place. And they, so they did those three things to me. And uh, I don't remember anything. Uh, December 27th, my wife gets a call. Hey. We need to uh, take him off the ventilator. It's not doing any good. His blood is infected. And y'all need to prepare for him to die. You know, or there's nothing else we can do for him. Oh, no, we're not taking him off no ventilator. We're not authorizing y'all to remove him from the ventilator. So all you motherfuckers be out there saying, oh, that karma and all of that shit. 
Well, if karma worked, I would be gone, right, motherfuckers? Because I ain't gone. And I look good. Better than I did before I got COVID in my mind. <laughs> but anyway. So, fuck y'all on that karma shit. Uh, well, so then, about a day later, the doctor called my wife back and said, oh, we don't know what's going on. Because my wife and her, her village and my mama and, and their village of people are praying for, for your boy Reg. And uh, the doctor said, we don't know what happened. But we, he's okay. He's going to be okay. Still stayed on the ventilator. Got transferred to a rehab center because when you when you just laid up, <laughs> and they get you out of the hospital. They just send you to what they call rehabilitation centers and places. Laid in there from January. It was on my mother's birthday. That's why I know the date. January the 14th of 2021 is the day that I was told that I was transferred there. I don't remember any of that because I'm still out. Wake up. And I told this story before on Vlad and, and some other places, maybe my boy Art Show. Wake up in mid-February. Don't know the date, don't remember the date. I think it was like the 10th or the 12th, 13th. But I know it would have been that Tuesday or Wednesday of the date after the 2021 Super Bowl. Because guess what are the first thing I remember seeing? Tom Brady throwing Gronk, the, either the MVP trophy or the Super Bowl trophy, on the boat, throwing it to him. And I was like, damn, Tampa Bay won the Super Bowl? But I remember that because, you know, th throwing, throwing a, a trophy, that motherfucker hit the water. <laughs> that would been some expensive equipment going, you know, expensive trophy going down in the water. And so, uh, yeah, um, woke up from that. Now I'm paralyzed from the neck down. Can't move. This stuck. So I'm waking up, and I woke up, and I remember saying that. And I'm like, where the hell am I? What's going on? And so now I'm laying in the room by myself because, you know, I don't know if they realized or they took me out. Or, you know, they woke me up to take me off the ventilator or whatever. So when I wake up, uh, I'm thinking I was involved in a serious car accident. Possibly to hurt myself or kill someone. So from there, I'm tearing up, wondering if I hurt my family, my wife, my son, or someone else. Don't know when I realized, no, nigga, you in here for COVID when you, you know, got sick. Fast forward, go through all of that. Go through, man, they call something called red, red cap when they take the trach off, off, off you and trying to get to teach you how to learn back how to breathe and stuff. I did get vaccinated during that time because none of the vaccines are available. Um, came home, still can't move my hands or arms or anything like that. This is uh, July 31st, so August the 1st of 2021. Came home, still can't do nothing. Can't feed myself, can't do anything. Don't have the trach or the feeding tube, but still can't move or anything. Fast forward, go through that, uh, do the show with Art the Dialogue. Uh, that's when y'all calling me Dell. <laughs> Nigga look like he about to die, but I'm feeling good. I'm thinking I'm looking good. Even the, the show I did with, with John on Ball Purple, I was laying in the bed and, and then my boy Mom Jay said, Reggie, don't do no more interviews. Don't let people see you like that. Don't let niggas see you weak like that. I'm like, what you talking about? Shit, should've seen me a couple of weeks ago. I'm glad I could talk now because I couldn't talk or anything. And uh, I'm saying all of this to y'all 
to say, I know COVID, we might be a little bit past it, uh, but that's what I went through. That's why I like this, that's why I'm so cocky and I feel the way I feel. And I don't care what y'all say about me being there because now I'm, I'm walking on a walker, taking steps, picking myself up, putting myself in and out of the bed, and, you know, going to the toilet and everything, all on my own now. Couldn't do all of this stuff uh, a year ago. So man, God is good. And so there ain't nothing y'all can do or say to, to break me down. I know this is a boring episode, but we just told it because we also here trying to educate people. And, uh, you know, we'll probably just put this on Facebook or something. So if y'all come and check it out. And just so y'all can know uh, about COVID, man, it's serious. Um, I know a lot of y'all have y'all reasonings for vaccines, but you got vaccinated for, to go to school for the mumps, polio, hepatitis, and all of that stuff. So why are y'all fighting the vaccine, being vaccinated for this COVID? Because trust me, it was too much money made off of this. And I'm not a conspirator, but I don't believe this disease just popped up out of nowhere. And we got idiots out there that'll throw this shit back out in our ear and cause us to get it again. And so, um, protect yourself. Why you gotta be in that number, right? That's all we're going to say about COVID. Thank y'all for listening and uh, consider vaccines. Okay. For people that say like, oh, um, did he have a stroke when he was in, you know, with the COVID? Because they say maybe that's why, you know, the, of the paralysis or, or what. Did the doctors ever tell you in detail? Did you ask or not so much? You were just happy to be oh, awake? And... I'm sure that's something we spoke about. They never told me that I had a stroke. Um, I have seen people, because you know, of course, being in this situation, you look up this, <laughs> if it's not affecting you, you don't give a fuck about it, <laughs> so you don't look it up. But uh, the situation I've been in, uh, and so there, there's a lot of people that, it's not a lot, let me retract that. There's people that this has happened to, and that has bounced back from it. Therapists that come to my house three to four times a week, say that they have people that, that they seen like this. How long it takes for you to get back to yourself, people don't know. I know some people that got back to themselves in a year that I read online and, and researched. I know some people that's in the same position that I am. I know some people that worse than I am. Uh, so it has affected people differently. But the one thing about it, they don't know. This disease is so new. Everything's a guess. But look how far we came with it. People were dying. Don't y'all remember that count on CNN? <laughs> with people dying and, and people contracting it? You don't see that anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's real, y'all. I know a lot of y'all don't, don't want to believe it, but it's real.